Shadow of the Colossus is a work of art. On paper, it may sound like any other action-adventure game. You play as a lone wanderer, hunting down gigantic monsters in order to save a young maiden. But while its individual parts might seem underwhelming, the experience of playing Shadow of the Colossus is unlike anything else in gaming. It's quiet. It's somber. It gives players a moment to breathe, to reflect on their quest, to question whether or not they're actually the hero. There's a synergy to Shadow of the Colossus, a near-perfect blending of story, gameplay mechanics, and artistic styling that created an experience that hasn't really been matched since. To be fair, it's not perfect. When the original game was released back in 2005, it was incredibly ambitious from a technological standpoint. And, let's be real, the PlayStation 2 couldn't really handle what Team Ico was trying to do. Shadow of the Colossus played like a slideshow at times, to the point where it would actually get harder to play as the frame rate continued to drop. Fans would have to wait six years for a fix, but it was worth it. When the Ico and Shadow of the Colossus collection was released for the PlayStation 3, all of the technical problems that had held the game back were but a distant memory. As a remaster, the PS3 version used the same art assets and tech as the original. It was basically the exact same game that fans had already played, only better. For a time, the PS3 port was the definitive way to play. But then, at E3 2017, Sony announced yet another re-release. This time, however, it wasn't going to be another simple remaster of the original. Bluepoint Games, the developers behind the Uncharted collection, would be remaking Shadow of the Colossus from the ground up. It was a nice surprise, but after E3 died down, a lot of fans started asking the same question. Did Shadow of the Colossus really need another remake? Well, if we're gonna figure that out, it's probably best to take a look at what has changed and what hasn't. And honestly, not a whole lot has changed. The core experience of the game, hunting down the 16 colossi and puzzling your way through each fight, is exactly the same as it was on the PS2. There are no new colossi, no new gameplay mechanics, and no new areas to explore. The story, the art style, the music, the new Shadow of the Colossus is almost identical to the 2005 version. Emphasis on almost. Bluepoint didn't make a ton of changes to Shadow of the Colossus, but the changes that they did make are noticeable. And no, I'm not just talking about the graphics. But holy shit, let's talk about the graphics! I mean, you guys can see the footage. Shadow of the Colossus on PS4 looks incredible. Don't get me wrong, the game's art style has always been fantastic, but this? This is on an entirely different level. I can literally go to any point in my footage library and bam, it's pretty. The lighting, the textures, the character models, the attention to detail, the fur. Oh god, you guys, just look at the fur. It's so fluffy, I just want to touch it with my face. <clears throat> The other major changes are to the story. Yes, I know that I said the story didn't get changed, but I guess it's better to say that some of the lore got tweaked a bit. The tweaks are small and extremely subtle, but depending on how much you think about said changes, they can affect the plot in interesting ways. For instance, looking at Wanderer in the original game, you'd never confuse him for a kid. He's not necessarily old, but he at least looks old enough to understand that his actions have consequences. He knows that entering this cursed land is breaking a whole list of taboos, but he's ignoring all that to save someone he loves. Compare that to PS4 Wander, who looks like he's a kid flying by the seat of his pants. The motivation to save someone may not have changed, but one could assume that he's not necessarily thinking about his actions, just doing whatever he can to save the girl. It's a really small change, sure, but when you spend half the game riding across a barren landscape with nothing to listen to but your horse, 
you've got time to think about how the shape of one's cheeks could have major implications on the larger overall story. There are a few other similarly small tweaks like that throughout the game, and at first, those small changes seemed like absolute heresy. The idea of a new control scheme? Perfectly fine. Giving Dormana a slightly different voice? My notes literally say they fucked up the big scary voice. But as I kept playing, the changes stopped bothering me. First of all, they're extremely subtle, so the only people who are going to care about stuff like that are giant nerds like me. Secondly, after taking some time to think about the changes and how they affected my interpretation of the story, the more I could appreciate them. I definitely still prefer one style over the other, just as many other people will, but I don't think any of the changes are outright bad. They're different. So, the big question remains. Did Shadow of the Colossus really need a remake? From a purely pragmatic standpoint, no, not really. The only big thing that differentiates the PlayStation 4 version from the PlayStation 3 version are those fancy new graphics. At the basis level, this new remake is Shadow of the Colossus with a new coat of paint and a $40 price tag. And yet, here I am, genuinely happy that the PlayStation 4 version exists. Shadow of the Colossus is such an incredible game, and getting to play through it again with such a dramatic, visually stunning graphical upgrade is fantastic. There's no logical reason for me to be excited about it, especially considering that I've already bought and played through the prior two versions multiple times. Players are being asked to pay for the same game for a third time. But, I don't know, maybe it's nostalgia. Maybe I'm excited that so many new players will get a chance to experience this incredible game. Maybe that new coat of paint really had that big of an effect on me. Either way, Shadow of the Colossus may not have really needed another remake, but I'm happy that I got one anyways. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm really excited to be making videos again. I was ecstatic to see that Sony had sent me a copy of this, so thanks to Sony for making this video possible. If you want to help the channel grow, you know, you can always share the videos on like Facebook and Twitter and Reddit and all that fun stuff. If you want to know when the videos are uploaded as soon as they're uploaded, you can go ahead and hit that little subscribe button. So I'll see you guys next time. Peace, I'm out.